Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 baby names that I absolutely love but won't be using. Um, so if you're new around here and don't know, um, we've just had baby number two, baby Theo. Um, so I wanted to share with you, obviously, thinking about his name, um, we had bought about lots of names and so now I've got sort of a list together of the names that we'll no longer be using because um, we've had our baby, baby Theo. Um, so I wanted to share with you five girls' names and five boys' names of names we absolutely love but we just won't be using. Um, anymore because um, we've chosen our names um, so yeah if you like these sorts of videos then please do um, consider sticking around and subscribing and, and liking my channel I'd really appreciate it I'm going to be making obviously quite a lot of baby content um, going forward having just had a brand new baby so if you like that sort of thing please do stick around and and subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you um, so without further ado let's I would love for you to share the baby names uh, down below, maybe that you love and won't be using. Please do comment below. Um, let's um, share the names that we won't be using and maybe give some others some inspiration too. So please do leave the comments below um, of baby names that you won't be using anymore. So we have two children. We've got Amelia, um, who is three and a half, and we have got Theo, who is three weeks. Um, so Amelia's name we absolutely love and um, we often short it to Millie and her middle name is Chloe. Again just another name that we really liked um, so we use that as her middle name and Theo is three weeks um, old currently and he's well he's Theodore but we shortened it Theo and in his middle name is Robin, um, which was chosen by his little, by his big sister rather. Um, so that we thought that was just a really, really lovely um, way. She just sort of came out with the name Robin one day when we, should, we told her she was having a brother, um, and we thought that'd be really cute for for that to be the middle name. So that's how he got his middle name, Robin. So I'm going to alternate it, do one girl's name and then one boy's name. So I'm going to start with the girl's names. The first name that I really, really love um, but won't be using is the name Ray. I just think it's beautiful. Obviously, it's a unisex name and I think I do sort of steer towards those sorts of names. I quite like unisex names. Um even though neither of my children have unisex names. But um, I do have a few on my list that are unisex names, and this is one of them. I don't know, I just really like it. It's just quite short, and uh, obviously can't be shortened as a name. Or maybe you can shorten it, I don't know, but I just quite like Ray. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really, really pretty name, and I'd, um, yeah, it'd be a really, really lovely girl's name. And the first boy's name on the list is Finley. And I really liked this name, but my husband wasn't too keen on it. Um, I think it's a really, really lovely name. And it can be shortened to Finn, which I like as well. Um, so yeah, Finley was the first um, boy's name on our list. And so next up as a girl's name was Madison. Um, I really like this. And I think actually... It reminds me of Madison Square Gardens in New York. Um, and yeah, obviously it can be shortened again to Maddie. And that was actually one of the reasons why um, we didn't have it. Because obviously we've got an Amelia, which we kind of often shorten to Millie. And then we'd have a Millie and a Maddie. And I just thought that was, you know, too similar maybe. Maybe it's not, you tell me. But I just thought... Them, for us that was just a little bit too similar um, but I think it's a very very pretty name and I actually you know obviously you don't have to shorten it it could just be Madison which I think is absolutely lovely um, so yeah that was another girl's option so next up as another boy option is the name Archie I really really like this name I think it's so cute and um, it was a very big contender for us for a while um, obviously we preferred Theo in the end but Archie was definitely up there um so yeah I do really um like this name and it's I just think it's a really lovely name I know I don't know any Archies um either but I know it, it is a bit of a popular name um but yeah just really really loved the name Archie um, so the next name that I really liked was the name India. Um, we've actually both travelled to India, so I thought that would be a lovely, a lovely link to the name as well. Um, and actually, absolutely loved that um, that country and travelling there was just amazing. Um, but again, 
we didn't choose it. Um, I just think my partner wasn't too keen on it. In the end, um, we preferred obviously other names to it, but I thought it was a really, really pretty name um, and it would have been a lovely link to sort of somewhere we'd been before. Next on the boys list was Harrison. A uh, very sort of traditional name. I think we probably would have uh, shortened it to Harry, um, but really, really lovely name as well. Um, again, again, it wasn't chosen, but it was a, it was definitely a strong contender for us and just a really, really nice overall name. Of yeah. So another name on the girls list that I really liked was the name Riley. And obviously this is, again, another unisex name, but I would have really wanted it for a girl's name. Um, and I think it's just really, really pretty. I don't know a lot of Riley girls. I know a couple of Riley boys. Um, so I really would have, would have liked it for a little girl. I just think it's really, really pretty. And again, as I said before, I just like the unisex names. Um, so yeah, this was another one on our list. Another another one on our boys list was the name Marley. Um, I think this is such a really cute name, um, a name uh, that I think that they can grow with as well. Um, I think that's what I think of when thinking of names is um, some names really suit babies, but then are they going to suit them as an, a grown adult in a sort of like, you know, professional sort of lawyer type job or whatever they might get into? I just think one day they might want these sort of professional jobs and will that name suit them then as well? So I do think about the name as sort of a child and then growing with them. Um, so yeah, so that was um, another option that was absolutely loved, but we didn't use. And lastly, on the girls list was the name Aurora. Obviously, that is, um, there is a Princess Aurora in Disney, um, but also I actually found out it was actually one of my nan's middle names. Um, and I think it's so pretty, it would have a nice link back to my nan, which would have been lovely. Um, and it could be shortened to Rory, which again, is another sort of lovely unisex name. Um, so yeah, really like the name Aurora. And lastly on the boys list is the name Kai. Again, I really like the, the three letters and the shortness of the name. Um, I think it's a really lovely name. And again, it just wasn't used, but it was sort of uh, on our list for a little while and a name that we sort of came back to, um, but didn't use, but I think it's a lovely name. Um, to have Kai. Um, so they're all the names that were on our lists that we absolutely love but never um, used and won't be using um, furthermore. So thank you so much for watching. As I said, if you do like this sort of content, then please do stick around and subscribe to my channel. I'd absolutely love to have you. I'm going to be making more con baby sort of content like this. I also do organisational mum hacks, that sort of thing as well. So please do stick around for more videos from me if you like that sort of thing. Uh, so thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.